All right, so I'm gonna make a quick video here. Um, this may be helpful to some. So we're remodeling this living room and we got a different chandelier that the wife had picked out. And uh, the problem I have is that the box, the electrical box in the ceiling has like a stud in the middle of it. And the way the previous chandelier was, they had one of these crossbars in here and that was mounted to the two screws on either side of the box. But then because there's a stud in that box, it gave you like zero room to squeeze the wires through because you have this threaded uh, rod that came out. So what you need to have is what they call a, a hickey and I'll show you what that is. So this is what the hickey is and the way that this one works is the large hole here is going to accommodate the threads of that stud in the box. So you can thread that all the way up and then the uh, rod part that you have that comes from the chandelier that would thread into this bottom hole. And after doing some research the stud in the box is what they call 3 uh a 3 ace pitch or 3 ace um, thread. Um, but it measures 5 eighths, if that makes sense, and the bottom here, this is going to be quarter. And that's, uh, these are all IPS, which is uh, International Pipe Straight Thread, so it's not like a, a tapered thread, it's all straight. So, and like, like I said, this was what the old fixture was, and it was a pretty heavy fixture, so I'm like, well, this is obviously what should have been installed, so that you, you know, can run your wire up, and you have space in between here. To, to run the wire out instead of uh, using this crossbar then you know the crossbar wouldn't be used because you're using this in the, in the box um, but then we ran into a problem so when I figured out what the uh, the thread was and what size I needed uh, most of the uh, internet companies that sell these electrical fittings um, for lamps and that type of thing and chandeliers they'll have an explanation of how to measure so you know you're getting the right size one and the most common size is going to be this quarter inch IPS and then the eighth inch which is smaller and this is usually for lighter duty fixtures this is for heavy and you can tell by this even by this crossbar this crossbar here is extremely thick when in comparison to this one it's much thinner and even this one which there's nothing to. So this could be more like a, uh, a pendant, pendant type light. So I figured I'm all ready to go here and uh, I actually have a, a cast iron hickey. I'll show you that, that I'm using. Um, but anyway, so I go to thread in the, uh, the pipe piece into the hickey and I was like, something's not right here. So this is the piece that came with the, the uh, chandelier and it doesn't thread it's like too loose and I'm like oh man I didn't get the right size it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't the quarter it must have been the eighth so I uh, they make an adapter that goes from the quarter size to the eighth but then after doing some uh, quick evaluation, this here, which came with the light fixture, which was made in China, is not the same as eighth, and it is not quarter. So I'm not sure if that's a metric size, but it is not, it's not the same. It's a little bit bigger than the eighth, and it's quite a bit smaller than the quarter. So if you try to put it in the quarter, it's way loose. This is the uh, crossbar that came with the chandelier, which, is fine but you can't use a crossbar in this application and then like I said this is the eighth the uh, eighth inch straight thread and this will not go in there it just it won't even fit it just there's nothing you can't you can't get it in there because it's a different size uh, now there you can see the difference in size so that's frustrating so what I had to do was find the correct loop and I'll, uh, I'll show you that so this is the loop that came with the fixture and the threads inside here are the ones that only fit this metric. And I can't find any type of adapter or even uh, anything listed on any of these websites that sell this stuff that have the correct uh, pitch. So this must be something metric because it's a, a Chinese made fixture. 
So what I did was I found an old hook from the old chandelier and I'm just going to paint it this gold color and it has the correct size pitch for the larger uh, quarter quarter inch uh, pipe pipe thread or whatever. So that's just something uh, you may need to be aware of if you're doing any type of uh, light fixtures and stuff. There's a lot of different little parts and pieces. So uh, let me uh, show you the electrical box. Okay, so here's the box. And like I said, this stud that's in the middle here, that's what they call the three ace and it measures five ace uh, across. And this is the uh, hickey I think I'm going to use. So it's the same, same uh, three ace quarter on, you know, it's got the quarter on one end, three ace on the other, but this is cast. So, and it, it seems to work pretty well. And this box here, because it's an older house, the way they wired it, they'd bring everything uh, to this box and then they would pull off of that. So instead of, you know, going from switch to switch, everything is, all the connections are made up in here, which is already pretty frightful. And you can see where this crossbar would sit here. There's absolutely no space to get uh, a wire squeezed in between here. So the way the old fixture was, they just had the wire squeezed in between, which is not the right way of doing it. You should have this. Now, and if you remove this screw, well then the whole box wants to fall down because the, uh, the metal bar that runs between the two ceiling joists is, this is what's holding that box in place then. So you can't remove that. So this is a pretty heavy duty box. It's designed to hold, a, I think, a pretty decent amount of weight. So that's why you need this adapter here to thread on this center section here. And what really frustrated me is that I went to Home Depot and they sell a whole kit with a crossbar and this and a hickey, a stamped hickey, not the, not the cast type. And it wouldn't thread on there. And I thought, well, what the heck? Do I have some sort of weird oddball thing? And when I looked at it, it only looked like there was about a half a thread because it was real cheap, thin metal. There wasn't enough threads in there. So when I looked online, I'm like, well, this cast one, you can see there's like probably four threads. And as soon as I brought, as soon as I got this one, it threaded right on, no problem at all. So if you're doing any type of electrical, it's a good idea to double check everything because a little short project of just flipping out a, a few wires here and attaching it could take a couple days and some uh, specialty parts. So that'll be it for now.